Okay, Peter here from Comfort Zone Insulation. I'm just um, under this floor, and we're actually doing the floor with polyester bats down the other end. But there's an extension here, and they've done it with this foil board, and it's polystyrene foam. Um, and and if it was installed properly, it might work well. The problem that it's got is that any little gaps, any airflow at all that goes in through this gap, just goes all the way through, um, all the way through underneath all the joists, all the way up. And, uh, and so if you're trying to stop the, the winter cold from coming up through your floor, um, this little gap ruins the job. Uh, now, uh, if it wasn't that little gap, I'm sure over against the edges there, it's very hard to seal up against the timber, unless you're silicon it or that. Um, any gaps at all are going to ruin this, ruin this the, the outcomes for the customer. And if you see up in there, I don't know whether I can see there, See how far up there that goes? It goes all the way through, right? Um, so it's totally useless, this product. Um, or rather, totally useless that it's been installed like this. Um, now the other thing is that obviously rats or mice or that figure out that they can build nests up in there. And so it makes a little haven for them. And if you compare that to polyester bats, so um, we get our bats made excuse me, just for us, now, uh, uh, and we get them made a bit stiffer because there's not a good floor product on the market um, without getting them made. Now if you compare that to the polyester bats, now the polyester sits up against the ceiling, uh, I mean up against the floor as it were, and, um, and so there's no gap there, uh, these ones are a bit tight in here because it's a bathroom. But there's no gap underneath them, so there's no chance of rats or mice building nests up in underneath them. Uh, and and if if for example if if one bat had fallen out or or that, it, it wouldn't wreck the whole job. It'd just wreck that one little bit, right? So uh, if even if a bat falls out or a plumber gets under here and pulls one out or a dog, you know, pulls one out or something, um, you know, it's unlikely. But but even if there was a little gap, the little gap in the, in the job isn't going to wreck the whole job. Um, but with the foil board, any little gaps at all, and we're not talking about little gaps today, we're talking about if in 10 years time, um, the, the, uh, um, uh, if in 10 years time uh, the, um, uh, a rat or a mouse, you know, pushes it down or chews it or starts chewing through it or whatever or or anything happens that a gap happen, opens up or the tape falls off on their joins um, anything at all like that and the whole job's ruined so that's why we recommend polyester bats for your underfloor if you're trying to keep your floor nice and warm in winter um, and stop the cold coming up it'll also help your air conditioner during summer because cold air sinks and so when you run your air conditioner in summer, the cold air is sitting on the floor. And so if it's 37 degrees in the shade outside, that's 37 on the bottom of the floorboards, which have got a 0.26R value. And, and the aircon might be at 24 degrees inside. So, so it's certainly beneficial to insulate your floor from both perspectives. All right, I'm gonna get in and finish this job because I haven't finished putting these bats in this bay yet. Um, uh, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, like, comment or share.